What's up people? So this is the last and final match of the Taiwan Fighting Major that I should have uploaded a while ago, but I don't know. A lot is going on. I'm going on some trips, so I wasn't able to do that. I still wanted to upload it though, even because even though it's late, because it's still good to watch this set because it's a really good set and also uh it provides some change in the dynamic of Goichi versus Kazunoko. Because if you saw my last match, Goichi actually opted to go for Ginyu instead of using Gohan Point. And personally, I don't like Goichi on Ginyu, especially versus someone like Kazunoko, who's just insanely crazy, insanely aggressive. Because the thing about Ginyu is a lot of his offense is easily avoided if you can just oppress him and make him block and then kill him, which is what Kazunoko is great at. Ginyu has to sell out a lot in order to make you block, and I don't see Goichi as the type of person to sell out for offense. If anything, he'll just trust in his defense and make you hang yourself and then punish you based on that. Punish you based on just outmaneuvering you in neutral or in a scramble, and Ginyu, in my opinion, isn't that great in scrambly situations. But, uh... Yeah. This time, because he got destroyed in winner's finals, this time Goichi opted to use Gohan in grand finals. So, the reason I like Gohan is because Gohan just has a bunch of built-in pressure. And he's also has pretty good defensive options with DP. And with just moving back and using uh, legs, or just jumping back with medium. So... I don't know. Go, uh, Gohan to me is just a much safer, better option option for Goichi than a lot of than Ginyu or even Cell, in my opinion, especially Cell right now. So yeah, let's get into watching. Let's turn this down a little bit. Oh, that was all because of. Yamcha assist. Yamcha assist is broken. So it's funny because Goichi probably would have had advantage here because he clipped them with legs in the air. But because of Yamcha assist, and then he got the auto combo mix up, and Goichi gets put in disadvantage. And that's just Kazunoko knowing Goichi. Goichi loves to tag anytime any of his characters have blue health. And you want them to be as healthy as possible. Ooh, that was a nice little super dash. I wonder if he's going to tag Gohan back in. Nope, just kill Vegeta, I guess. Which I agree with. I'd rather kill Vegeta early than have to worry about Vegeta late. Ooh, nice wait. I feel like in that situation, if you're going to reflect, you might as well press buttons to at least try to take a turn. Ooh, nice timing on the vanish to cover tag. And you get the mix. Oh, he missed. That sucks. My sparking from Kazunoko. Oh my god. It looked like Gucci was actually going to try to poke out there, too. And this is a dead Bardock. I be no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. But he's probably going to spark. I couldn't see the bar because my mouse is in a way. Ooh, but he doesn't have Vanish to convert. And now he's just gonna keep Goichi. I feel like Goichi should have stayed grounded after the first super dash. Oh, well. Hopefully, my internet comes back. So. 
Smarts these matches. I hate this place so much. Alright, and internet is back and the video is loading again. So let's get back to it. But so I feel like here, Gushi probably should have down teched. So if he wants to super dash or do anything, like I feel like he has to play more honest if Gushi down techs. I'm not sure. If he just down techs and blocks, he can't just keep pressure on him with super dash. He can keep pressure on him, but not with super dash. Also, the quality on his videos just super bad. Maybe that's just how the stream looked. And this is a dead go tanks. Ooh, nice conversion. Already though, Goichi is finding more success. Although it's not it wasn't necessarily because of the Gohan. It was more because of Vegeta's pressure than anything. But Vegeta's also the same way. He doesn't have free pressure, but he has a uh, this is a lot of damage. Oh god. Nice break. This is what I'm talking about when I say Gohan has free pressure. Ooh, that's a nice Yamcha assist. I think he was actually trying to bait that super dash, but Goichi just timed the super dash really well. I guess he just wanted to switch in Bardock so he could get the blue held back. Now, this is by no means a lead for Goichi though. They have. Well, now they have the same amount of bar. Kazunoko had more bar. Although he only had one character, that character had more health than all of Goichi's characters. And in this situation, Yamcha is, uh, is kind of scary because the thing about Yamcha is his ground mix ups are pretty crazy, but it takes at least three hits for him to kill someone. But if they all have less than half a bar of life, then that doesn't even matter anymore, right? Yamcha can kill everyone with one hit. Oh, uh, he must have thought he was leveled up. Oh, what? And that's death. Oh no, it's not death. Wow, Yamcha can. Yamcha, you suck. Oh. But yeah, that situation wasn't really a lead for Goichi at all. <laughs> Alright, so now they both have, they both use one assist apiece. But, Kazunoko kind of poorly used Gohan assist. Ooh, that's super dash. That's some craziness of Kazunoko. That's some of the insanity of Kazunoko. I'm just this is just so good. Level nope. Alright, he's just gonna set up the ghost. Ooh, he got hit by Barak assist. So that means he probably tried to press buttons. He probably tried to poke out. I don't know. He he tried to do something. Let me turn this down a little bit more. <laughs> oh, no, okay. See, this is my favorite 
part of fight. I was so confused on whose assist that was. This is my favorite part of fighters though. They're both just gonna jump at each other and throw out medium. Because Gohan and Bardock have broken mediums. And then, wow, he got opened up by it. He must have thought there's no way he's going to be able to do this before he gets hit by Vegeta assist. So he was just going to try to, if that's the case though, then you could just block. Because he's going to get hit by Vegeta assist anyway, right? If that's your thought process. So, yeah. Oh, Vegeta assist it was nerfed, but still great. Level three, I agree. Waste that sparking. I'm not sure what he got hit by. I think he got hit by another overhead. I think he barely got hit by another overhead. Yep, he got hit by another light. I would have gotten opened up by that too. That was a ballsy super dash. But I guess his thought was, I either super dash here, or like I take this risk to get out here, or Yamcha dies anyway. So, wow, they both just jumped at each other. Ooh, I think he saw that assist coming. Ooh, if he got hit by that, he was dead. <laughs> Gohan plus Yamcha is just scary. Nice break. He's probably gonna jump. Uh, what the heck? He's probably gonna jump and. I was expecting him to call Yamcha assist, but I thought I guess he thought it wouldn't hit from where he was. And get Vegeta in there. See, now this is definitely Yamcha has no chance here. Bang bang attack, and it's over. Ooh, that was an interesting start from Gucci. I wonder where he was trying to... That was also interesting from Gucci. He didn't have any more assists, so it's not like he could have followed up with Yamcha assist there. Oh. He can follow up with Yamcha assist there, though. That's a lot of damage. Set up the ghost. Gucci might super dash here. Now he just tried to switch. I guess he's willing to... Uh, I th guess he called out the assist too late. I guess he tried to switch because he would rather take that hit on Vegeta than have Gohan jailed and die. Good defense from Goichi. I don't really see people. I, I agree. Get Bardock in there for the mix. But I don't see many people do the assist option, the assist, uh, what the heck, the assist, um, reflect option select. Because if you do that, then you basically, it's basically a free coverage. doesn't lose to, I don't know what exactly it loses to, but it doesn't lose to much, as far as I know. And where you use it is if you think someone's trying to bait your assist, then you can do that. And then you basically have, I mean, if you think someone's trying to bait your reflect, then you can basically do that. 
And then someone... Oh, double light. Then people can't just punish your reflex by waiting. And if you have an assist like Bardock, then you... Oh, nice little micro dash out of the corner. If you have an assist like Bardock, then you get to take a turn while reflecting. And he timed the Bardock level 3 right this time. And Kazunoko has to spark here. So, this is already much better from Guichi than when his finals was. Um, uh, I guess he didn't want to use that one bar, but I was kind of shocked that he didn't use that bar to for a sliding knockdown. For Larry, ooh. Uh, he missed Gohan, though. He's trying to, he caught Gohan in the Devil Sunday. Gohan barely has any health. If he got those two supers off, Gohan was probably dead. But there was also a good chance to switch out Gohan. So you still have Gohan in your back pocket while they're pretty. You have a... Oh, uh, he didn't convert the 2H, though. Wow, he got on the ground fast enough to punish that. And I think this is death. Is he going to switch in to finish? Yep. No reason not to. He kind of wasted Yamcha assist there, though. Nice super dash. Approaching Vegeta, so oh, he bag dashed, so he couldn't even. He bag dashed, so he even if he wanted to, he couldn't get the uh, DP. He's just keyed in on those changes now. Get Vegeta back in there. He couldn't get a good Oki though on the uh, incoming. The incoming from the snap. Ooh, staggered the Wolf Fang Fist. Wow. How did he get hit? How did he get hit there? I wonder. Maybe he tried the DP out and just didn't come out. Nice level three. Goshi's starting to do that a lot, actually. I don't know if he's always done that. I've never really seen him do that, and I've watched a good amount of Goichi games. And this is dead Yamcha. I think that's actually more worth on Bardock than any other character in the game. Maybe base Vegeta too, since they both have such good Oki spell for their level 3s. Bad super dash. Is he going to key blast out? Nope, it's super dash. Ooh. That was a tough one to lose for Goichi. He had a pretty good lead. He had uh, three characters while Gohan had like no health and Yamcha. Well, Yamcha was full health, but he had three characters with over half of their health bar. And now Kazunoko is on championship point. But Goichi gets Gohan an advantage, and this is just super scary. I feel like, so Goichi could have, I mean, Kazunoko could have poked out on any of those jabs, but I feel like, wow, that's why medium is broken. Jump medium is broken on Bardock and Gohan, but uh, Kazunoko, oh, he tried, oh my god, I think I got hit there. I'm not even sure. I saw it, but I don't know if I would have blocked it, like in a match. That's death. 
But what I was saying is Gohan... I feel like you can poke out of his light. But I feel like the anim ending animation is so obscure that I don't even... Like, I feel like it's just super hard to see. Is he going to tag in? He did. I feel like you can just always just count on Gochi to tag in that situation. Which tagging... I feel like tagging with Ghost, because you can't get to Gohan. Gohan can't really convert off of that. And if he does convert... He just doesn't know how he wants to deal with Ghost, because he didn't want to tag back in. I'm surprised he wasn't... Another level 3... For sides, thought so. Ooh, nice 2H. Bardock has the best 2H animation in the game. Level 3? Nope. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong bars. Oops. Nice break. And that's the dead go tanks. So this is still very doable. You have Vegito, who's very annoying to play against, because he's very hard to get onto. And then you have Bardock, who if he gets a hit on you, I don't know what the. Why did he just level up there? I, I guess he just wanted to do as much he wants to be able to do as much damage on Gohan as possible I guess combo too long he had to spark there he would have died and he's still gonna die for it anyway Jesus the scaling on that move is like non-existent. So once you get hit by EX legs, you just melt. Damn, that was dirty. Ooh, and to the Bardock loops. Ooh, level three? I Dragon Rush. Then again, if you Dragon Rush, you can DP. And switch sides. Okay, Gohan back in. Gucci doesn't have any more sparking though, so it's gonna be hard. Cause it What? That's the second time he's missed that. That sucks. Now we have Yamcha versus Bardock. I wonder if Yamcha could beat Bardock actually. Like canon, canonically. Yamcha's power level should be over 10,000, right? He can't beat Super Saiyan Bardock, though. Ooh. Uh, Yamcha sucks, so this is won't kill. It's not even gonna be close. I mean, it's gonna... That's not really close to killing, but... Oh my gosh. That dive kick. And that's how it ends. Kazunoko beats Goichi 3-1. And grand. It's a really good set. Uh, so the thing about it is Goichi was able to just naturally play more aggressive because he had a naturally more aggressive team with the swap in of Gohan instead of Ginyu. Like, Ginyu, you should play aggressive, in my opinion, but he's not naturally aggressive like you don't have to play aggressive with Ginyu but in my opinion that's the best way to play Ginyu but because you don't have to play aggressive with Ginyu a lot of people won't play aggressive with Ginyu and Ginyu would just end up being oppressed won't be able to do much whereas Gohan on the other hand if you don't play Gohan aggressive then you just aren't playing Gohan like that's not even not even going to be playing the character like, you can sit back and call out assist with Ginyu but it won't really well first of all no one will really let you and you won't really be doing anything. Like, you'll call out Raccoon Assist and try to run up to somebody. 
like you, I don't know. Like you'll still be able to jail someone with a recruitment assist, but you won't be able to get nearly as much out of the character unless you just sell out a hundred percent with them. I don't know. That's just the way I look at the characters. I might be wrong. I'll probably I'm possibly wrong, but I think Gohan is right now the best character for Goichi to have as a point. Maybe he would do well with uh Gotenks. Gotenks also has a really good assist, better than Gohan's, but Gotenks, Vegeta. Bardock, I guess you could just have Vegeta and Gotenks to jail people for Bardock. I think Goichi would do well with Bardock uh, point, but I don't know. I think Goichi has to really look for a team, and I don't think that uh, Ginyu is necessarily the piece of the puzzle that he needs. Yeah, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying to do as many VOD reviews as possible so I get better at it. It's Kingdub 7 signing out. Peace.